There's an assumption being made here. The assumption is that you are watching and listening to this video because you have an interest in philosophical practices for a purpose. That purpose, it's assumed, is change. On some level, in some area of your life, you feel you want to change something. I respect that. I respect it because I've lived it and I'm still living it. It started from being a shy person with acute social phobia and debilitating stage fright who still wanted to sing and perform. A person with huge doubts and insecurities who loved music and acting in spite of all her limitations. A person who gave up on her dreams because of those feelings. A person who eventually regretted giving up. I seemed to limp from crisis to crisis in my life, constantly anxious to please, constantly worried about what other people thought, morphing myself into what I thought would be acceptable to them. One night, I had an awakening. I lay awake in bed until dawn. I realized that everything I was doing was based on this idea of being a good person and making sure everyone else was happy. I realized I had no sense of self anymore. At that moment, I felt like if I took one more step down the path of being good and pleasing everyone else, I would lose myself forever. I did a lot of soul searching, journaling, walking, reflecting. I realized two things. I wanted to do something more creative for work. I wanted to be more creative in my life. And I had wanted to be a singer since I was a tiny girl of six, and I had given up on that dream. I retrained as a graphic designer. After my nine-month course was over and I was employed, I got the phone number of a singing teacher from a friend of mine. It took me three months to get up the courage to even call him. I went for my first lesson, scheduled another, and almost didn't go back. I had such resistance to going to the second lesson. I struggled with the overwhelming doubts that came up. He was perfectly nice and very knowledgeable. It wasn't about him, it was about me. As much as I wanted to sing, I was terrified I wouldn't be good enough. But thankfully, I kept going back. After a while, I instinctively knew the lessons I was taking were less about singing and more about finding a way out of my doubts and fears. It came to the point where I said to myself, even if I never sing anywhere, I have to keep going. Why? Because for the first time, I was actively doing something that led to change. The act of practicing consistently on a schedule I had set up for myself twice a day, five days a week, became about keeping this commitment to myself in spite of any resistance. It kept me focused. And over time, this consistent, dedicated practice did begin to pay off. I felt more confident my voice would be there when I needed it. I felt more confident because I had practiced. In my experience, it takes about three months of consistent practice to feel a shift, a small change, Keep going. At six months, the change is more present. After a year, it will be more noticeable. In developing scripts for this channel, I always include practical things you can actively do in order to grow. Sometimes I feel like I'm saying the same things, but it's so very important. Wanting to evolve or improve your life doesn't imply that you are wrong or bad. It's a natural function of an intelligent person to reflect on where they are now in their lives and whether there are certain aspects they would like to work on. When it comes to Stoic philosophy, these wise men advocated a dedicated commitment to practicing specific things in order to build resilience and develop virtues. Assuming you are here because there is some aspect of your life you would like to work on, then the first step is to pick a practice like daily walking or journaling or meditation, or perhaps something like Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga, something you can actively do on a consistent basis. You may struggle with resistance. You may have excuses for not practicing. You may wonder if it's worth the bother. This is your ego pushback. It knows if you practice consistently, you will change. 
Your ego wants to keep you as you are. The only answer to resistance is to keep going. Keep the commitment you've made to yourself and continue to do what you've promised. I find it very helpful to keep a practice journal. I write down my goals for the week and then note down when I practiced and what I did. Start with one thing, commit to it, and keep that commitment for at least three months. Keep the journal. I'd be very surprised if you didn't feel some improvement after 12 weeks. Practice even what seems impossible. The left hand is useless at almost everything for lack of practice, but it guides the reins better than the right. From practice, Marcus Aurelius.